Okay, so I've been thinking about this concept of dissonance for, I mean, a long time, you know. Why do things sound dissonant? Why do people perceive things as dissonant and harmonious? And I have hypo I've, I've reached this hypothesis that it has to do with exposure and expectation. And what I want to talk about is the expectation half. Um, I mean, exposure is just self-explanatory. People like what they're exposed to, and if at some point they close their mind and they don't want to hear anything that they've that's outside of their uh, bubble, right? Music is food, and you are what you eat. That's the quote that I made. I didn't make you are what you eat, but I combined them. So anyway, that's not what I want to talk about. I want to talk about expectation and how expectation shapes dissonance, the, the, the listener's perception of something sounding dissonant. And my evidence is personal. It's kind of something I've observed and noted um, when I made my song Ferris Funk. And I'm gonna play a clip here and I'm going to kind of discuss what's happening but um, I'm gonna highlight the key point that I want you to focus on. Okay, so here we have a C sharp sus4 to B sus4. Now here I have the same thing going on on the right hand, but I'm changing the bass note to the fifths of those roots. So bass is C-sharp here to B, C-sharp to B. And then here it's G-sharp to F-sharp. Now, my point is coming up here, I believe. Okay, exactly, right there. So what happened? is the I changed the bass note instead of going from C sharp to B I went from C sharp to C so the expectation from the first time around um, was that uh, it was gonna go to B right well the interesting thing is with the voicing I'm playing in the right hand the C chord when I go C sharp to C is just a C major 7 sharp 11 which depending on who you ask in my opinion, I wouldn't call it a dissonant chord. Maybe it's not the most harmonious chord, but I would not call it a dissonant chord. Um, and I think that's really interesting because it sounds dissonant. Like to me in this song, I think that's what, make this song, what makes this song cool and interesting is that it does kind of sound dissonant um, with that chord motion. Um, because like I was saying, the listener's expectation is it's gonna stay C sharp to B. And then when you change that harmonic context and it goes um, against the expectation, it sounds dissonant. I think that that's what dissonance is. So I think that this concept of uh, music has to be harmonious, like people don't wanna to listen to dissonant music. I think that they have some expectations going on there. And personally, um, I try to not have expectations um, because if you have expectations in any given situation and they do not go as the situation does not go as planned according to your expectations then you're going to be disappointed in yourself and instead you should just react to things as they are as they're happening and then adapt and move forward that way um, I try to do that as much as I can um, and all aspects of my life. But of course, you know, we're human. We have ego and bias and expectations. So it's difficult. But I think the whole point here is that I think it's all in the mind and it, it can be toggled, right? Like I think if people were expecting less and they just like uh, adapted to the situations, then they would be better off and like happier. So yeah. Um, if you listened, I hope you got something out of this. This is just a thought I wanted to get out of my head. So, yeah, that's it.